hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can use gitlab in vfx pipeline development projects or if you are a software developer then any types of projects that you can use in gitlab okay so first thing if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this will appreciate me to create all these kind of video tutorials for you guys let's just go and quickly see what is the website of gitlab and where we can see so git or gitlab official website is gitlab.com where you can actually go and read more about this application but right now we will just compare quickly compare this with the uh, github.com so for example if you are writing any code or working on any project which is open source then you can actually put that repository inside the github.com and with github.com you can actually share with uh, other developers and you can work together in a collaboration way and obviously this is a, a git platform so you can just put all your repository all the your comments and everything will be there so git if you are watching this video you are already familiar with git that's a version control system that's make programmers life way more easy all right so now the thing is uh, why we are actually need uh, git lab if we already have github so github is the website based i mean this is actually if you want to use github you need to go through internet and then you can actually get access to your repository but gitlab you can actually install within your studio i mean inside your company on your internal local network you can actually install gitlab and you can use gitlab for your uh, repositories so now let's just quickly go and see how we can actually download and install that so first thing when you go to the gitlab.com you can see there there is a pricing there and if you go and check first uh there is a free version but also some paid premium versions are also available so in this video we will just cover how we can actually install the free version so right now we are not going to use gitlab.com we will just use self-manage because we will install this in our windows machine right now okay so let's just click there on self-hosted and you can see that there is a core edition there and once you go and click on install then it will show you all uh, package installations methods so for example if you want to install in centos or maybe ubuntu wherever you can actually click there and the method will be appear but the thing is you will miss windows here there is no windows installation here so how you can actually install if there is no windows available here so right now here in my case i'm using windows so i will just show you the exact method that i'm using to host git lab in my windows environment all you have to do you just go to uh, google and search bitnami okay once you search bitnami then go and click on the first link you will reach to the bitnami.com website just go to product and click on application catalog and once you click there you just go and search here gitlab okay once you click gitlab you will see gitlab ce which is community edition so once you reach to this page you click here on virtual machine and also for your convenience what i will do is i will just put this link in the description of this video so you can just directly click and you will reach to this page then you can actually go and click here download dot vmdk format file and this is a virtual machine file once you download that one more software that is required to run this virtual machine which is a hypervisor software you can download either vmware player or virtual box both are free of charge so no issue no need to pay okay so let's just go and download that and then we'll continue from there in my case i already downloaded the zip file and i extracted in my folder here you can see this is the extracted file and i already have a hypervisor software so what i can use is or what you can do is uh, you can just quickly see where is the vmx file you just go and double click on this file so once you go double click on this file it will open into the uh, whatever hypervisor software you have by default and if it is selected in that way so all this will open in there or also you can actually go file and open if you if you don't 
uh, if this is not your default application then okay in my case it is so it's fine so you just click there and start this virtual machine so this is a debian based os which is provided by bitnami so this will be a complete installation package of gitlab in a minimal version of debian os with so what is this is going on here is like it's starting a centos uh, i'm sorry a linux server a debian based server and that server have all required packages for run gitlab so right now it's asking for the login name so login name and password will be bitnami and bitnami for now so this is bitnami bitnami is the login name and password is also bitnami bitnami and bitnami so also one more thing that you should see here uh, after once you log in you will see some of this uh, information here which shows that uh, your default password is bitnami and you need to change your password so maybe we can change that and we can enter the new password okay so our password is updated successfully and still our uh, gitlab server is not started yet because once it's started once everything it will be ready we will see the login credential and the ip address which is assigned to our virtual machine because right now uh, it's at this time we don't know what is the ip address of our uh, this virtual machine or this operating system which is running inside this virtual machine so once our configuration will be ready initialization will be ready then we will get the login credential as well as the ip address so with that we can actually directly log in there also since we are comparing our gitlab with the github so what i will do is because i already have my github account which you can actually browse github.com slash vfx pipeline and here i usually upload all the codes which i used in my project uh, in my tutorial videos so what we will do is we will take one of the repository from here i selected zone and this is actually a big repository i just want to test this with gitlab so we will just Im import all this data from git uh, this uh, github to gitlab okay let's just see what is the status of our vm uh, right now because it, this will take maybe one to two minutes to properly initialize your uh, whatever uh, gitlab services so that's why you need to keep wait for at least for two minutes to make sure everything is properly initialized okay okay maybe i will do one thing i will uh, stop this video here and i will continue from the video where i will see the login credential because we just need to wait for maybe so long let me just see quickly if you want to check the credential is ready or not you can actually uh, if you list you will see bitnami credential file is there so you can always go and cat uh, bitnami credential and see you will see this message that machine is being initialized and credential is not available yet so try again later so definitely you will also see this similar to this message one last thing what i can do at this time is uh, we can um, close this vm and start it again so let's just close this for now power off i mean close mean uh, completely power off shut down this vm and let's just select that and uh, start it again power on So once power on just hit enter and uh, if credentials are ready our ip will be display in the colored message we will like after login first thing it will show you is the credential if all good so right now it still is working so maybe we can wait for a few more seconds then it will be ready Okay, and here we have the github and also I, I, I went uh, in my previous video tutorials where I go with the open project virtual machine that also have the same issues in windows because it's not started uh, in the way 
which it should be it's actually initialization take time so let's just go and hit uh, credential like bitnami and uh, our password see this is still not yet ready so yeah we need to wait for this gitlab to be ready uh, it's also depends on the what kind of system hardware you have maybe in my computer is not, not that much it's just uh, two core uh, let's just go and uh, one more time let me okay there is one more option that you can use here which i remember just now uh, you can use something like uh, gitlab and for that obviously you should go with sudo uh, sudo sorry uh, gitlab ctl and then you can use tail and that will give you the update what's going on in the back let's just see all right here you can see there are things which is working with gitlab but now the connection is still there let's just wait for that okay so the command which we type i will just also mention that again let me just finish this first because the initialization is still going on uh this is this basically in ctl trail let me just go and restart this restart gitlab so with that what we'll do is it will restart all the gitlab services with this command you can actually go and restart all the gitlab so it, now you can see this all gitlab monitor work course everything is now restarting okay looks like all okay now let's just go and uh, shut down all right no need to shut down basically now you can see your credentials are visible here so here you can see that you can access this application through this ip address and the ip address is 0 0.181 let's just go and see this ip address and i'm going to this link you can find in the description of this video so let's just go and hit that url 192.168.0.181 hit enter all right so i don't know why it's redirecting to this ip address it should not be redirect to this so 192.168.0.181 yes anyway let's just go to advance and proceed and this is basically the set we are actually trying to access https and our certificate is invalid that's why we are seeing this page error otherwise we will not see this uh, let me just quickly uh, no need to do anything here here you can see that you are actually on your gitlab page okay guys so now what you have to do is it will ask you for to change your password so because there is some default password here which you can see here root and this and one weird thing is if you change the passwords for example password new password change your password okay now you come here in the sign in and root and here put your password which you enter hit sign in okay so we just on first login it will ask you to change the password once you change the password you will able to log in all right so just now what we did i will quickly recap there are we just run the virtual machine of bitnami gitlab virtual machine inside windows hypervisor software in my case i'm just using a vmware workstation you can use anyone and after that we just uh, start and wait for few minutes maybe it will be more uh, around two to three minutes that you have to wait or uh, in any case if things are not working you can actually restart the gitlab server and after that once you see this screen in the color one like blue yellow and red then your everything is all right and it will show you the ip address also which is the ip address which is hosting your gitlab server so with that once you're done with that let's just put this aside and now let's just go and maximize this so this is our gitlab 
now we are able to use this okay so this is it for this video where we just see how we can install and run gitlab server on windows machine and in my next video i will show you how exactly you can act you can actually make some changes you can change the branding you can change the color you can maybe uh, add new users here okay so let's just continue in our next video thank you guys